Hey, good morning, everyone. How's it going? This is Johansson checking in for today. Um, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on my portfolio um, and how the market is performing for the most part. Um, plus uh, another update as usual on like the three stocks that hold the bulk of my portfolio. I got a couple things to say on each one of them that are, you know, should be should be noteworthy. Um, before I get started, as usual, if you guys don't mind, hit me with that subscribe button. Um, I'd always appreciate that. And also hit yourselves with the notification so you guys can see when I post a new video. Um, and as usual, this is not financial advice. Uh, this is just for entertainment purposes. So please uh, do your own due diligence. So let's start off by looking at the NASDAQ overall, right? So today is down about one point, uh, point and a half, right? Um, which has been the trend for the last couple of days. So we're, we're, we continue to get beat up, right? Um, over the last five days, as you can see that trend, and then over the last, let's say, six months, right? Um, <clears throat> you can see that there's been some dips here and there and, and some rises back. So I, I'm expecting this to actually continue for a little bit longer. Um, if you notice a lot of these bigger dips that we've seen, and I think this is going to be one of the bigger ones, sometimes these things last a bit, like this one right here, right, lasted from, you know, early September, and then it really got back to normal um, October, but then it had another dip. When it started seeing consistent uh, consistent trends was near November. So you're talking about almost two months or a little bit over two months where there's a lot of volatility left and right, right? So I think <clears throat> the key here is to continue, at least from, from my end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to buy every time I see a good opportunity, dollar cost average down, especially in the stocks that I believe in. I hold around nine to 10 stocks, give or take, but there's three. And these three, every time I see a real opportunity, I usually put some money in. Now, one of them hasn't been given the opportunity because it's performing so well, and I'm going to talk about that today. Um, towards the end of the video. Uh, so let's start off looking at my portfolio. So like you see, another red day for the most part, right? We, we started off the day pretty nice. At one point, we're up to 63K, uh, up almost 6%. Um, and now we're essentially flat for the most part. So uh, continue to get beat up here. Um, but that's okay. Look, I, I, I don't expect every day to be green. I know there's going to be a lot of days and weeks like this. <clears throat> there was going to be a burst that was going to happen at one point. It looks like it's happening now. Um, and that's okay. Plus, there's a lot of other things affecting the market. In the market is not just that bond yields are up, um, but there's also, you know, it's, it seems like everybody's starting to get back on GameStop and all the other uh, stocks that they want to short squeeze. Um, and that's okay. I, I don't really get into those for the most part because it's just, it's just really, truly really volatile, tricky. I'm just trying to invest in companies that I like, hold them for a long term, and and see where that takes me. Um, I tried that at one point as an early young investor, right? Um, with, with the GameStop craze and the Express and AMC and all that, and I, I lost a lot of money. So I'm trying to stay away from that, just stick to the stocks that I like and, and keep it moving. So as you can see, portfolio, almost everything is red today except two stocks. Um, so let's talk about it real quick. So CCIB, <clears throat> we're starting to finally see some traction, right? I mean, this thing was going to eventually hit a floor. I don't know if this is the floor. Maybe tomorrow goes down another 8 to 10%. Um, but it looks like maybe it's starting to stabilize a little bit right here around this 28 to 30 price. Look, guys, at the end of the day, um, maybe the stock wasn't worth what it was going to be at the $60 range or something like that. And, you know, But in my opinion, I still think this is going to be a huge company moving forward. This is something that I think is going to 10 to 15x at one point. This is why I'm holding this for the very long term. Um, every time I see a, a buying opportunity, like yesterday, I bought a couple hundred bucks more worth of shares. And I'm playing with only about 1,300 or so in buying power, so I got to be limited in how I distribute it. Um, but that being said, I'm still, you know, I'm still bullish on this in the long term, right? Um, it doesn't look good now, obviously, um, especially with the news that came out. But you know, it, guys, this is eventually going to pick up. This is still a really good company. Um, there's a lot of short sellers out there right now. A lot of people putting bets that it's going to continue to lower. That's why it's doing this. A lot of people taking profits. So eventually this will stabilize and you'll start seeing a nice trend in the upward movement. It might be a slow trend, uh, but it's going to start going up. And I'm not really too worried on it. I'm just going to continue to buy more. Uh, my next one here, STPK. This one has been getting crushed. I think there's been, first of all, this is still my favorite stock. I still I think it's getting crushed because it's a SPAC still, right? And then, especially after what happened with CCIV's merger with Lucid, and then this one was going to merge with um, STEM, a, a battery storage company, um, <clears throat> the SPACs are getting killed because the, the Lucid details weren't nearly as clear as they were supposed to be. Um, there was a lot of back and forth stuff that a lot of people didn't like. So, you know, SPAC, the SPACs, for the most part, um, they've been getting crushed. A lot of, I think maybe half of my portfolio is SPACs, maybe a little bit more. And they're all down a lot. So it's it's something that eventually I think will turn around. Um, what it's What's going on right now, I think it's a good buying opportunity for most of these. So this one, 
look at the stock guys. So this stock at one point, it hit 49 bucks and now it's down to 34. What does that tell me? At least for me, this is extremely cheap right now. This stock, I think at one point before the end of the year is gonna get a hundred bucks. Every time I got a chance, now mind you, we're still up, we're still up about 3%. Uh, not a whole lot at this point, right? I think at one point we're up, I don't know, 20 something, 30%. That's okay, I'm continuing to load up. Um, and I will continue to load up as I continue to see these dips. Eventually, this will pick back up, um, especially once a merger is fully, um, it's confirmed, but once the vote goes in and then it changes its ticker to STM. Um, so I'm not I'm not too worried about this one. The one that I wanted to talk about today is MP Materials. It's always good to have a stock, especially one of your main ones, that no matter what's happening for the most part, it looks like it's continuing to outpace like what everything else is going on with the market. So look at this. Over the last week, I saw that same dip that everybody else had, but even so, it's still up 2%, which doesn't sound like a lot, right? But look, at one point, this thing hit 34 bucks, and now it's back to 47. With, and I bought, I bought, I've been on the dips along the way, so now I'm up, what, 30%. So this is kind of carrying my portfolio. If I didn't have this, who knows where it would be right now, at least during this time, right? So I'm really excited about this one. So guys, if you if you don't know MP Materials, uh, they mine rare earth materials, a lot of stuff like magnets and stuff like that that you're going to need for electric cars. Biden is... Uh, potentially send an executive order on this, especially now that China is uh, starting to put taxes on this, on, on exports of rare materials. And there's a lot to go on this. There's actually an article that I wanted to bring up here that Motley Fool uh, put together uh, about MP materials. And anytime a lot of these uh, bigger companies and articles and brands, whatever, start talking about a company that you have, that means you know it's doing something good, right? Um, so what, what do I want to talk to you right here? So, um, so I'll start with here with the silver part. So rare earth materials are using high tech products, notably batteries, to help make electric vehicles possible. That's what I was just talking about, right? However, the vast majority of these materials come out of Asia, mostly China. China has reported has reportedly discussed the impulsion of export restri restrictions, presumably a trade bargaining tool, which could be a disaster for non-Chinese companies, right? Once again, this is where these guys come in. MP material is one of the few non-Chinese options for companies to acquire rare earth materials. So if it is a play on a play on two separate high profile issues today, rare earth metals, electric vehicles, and trade with China. On top of that, the company is in the process of expanding its business so it uh, so that it can provide broader and more comprehensive replacement to Chinese rare earth supplies. So there's been there's even an internal growth potential here as well. All in, uh, there's really not a lot to like about MP materials. Uh, and it, it looks like everybody else likes as well. So, I mean, there's a lot more to the article, guys, but it's essentially what I was saying here is that this company, first of all, is going to be huge. I'm ready for the U.S., uh, especially if China continues to impose these taxes on them. I know Biden wants to make sure we're a lot more self-sufficient on these things. So I could see it's something that, you know, this stock continues to get um, a lot of traction. And, you know, it's, it's always tough to put a price target on these. Um, I think I'm a, I'm a very, very long-term investor on this one. I don't plan to sell this one anytime soon. I do think this is a stock that one day could be in the, in the hundreds for sure. Uh, I definitely expect, at least from my end, once again, not financial advice, but from my end, I do expect the stock, the stock to double from where it's at right now, which is almost 50 bucks before the end of the year. Um, <clears throat> so I'm, I'm confident on it. I'm going to continue to buy dips uh, as in it because it's, it's one of the best stocks that I have in the portfolio right now. Um, and it could even be a factor once, uh, remember, they sell to China as well, right? So it can be a factor even uh, for, the, for their sales as well. So I like the stock a lot. Um, I think you guys, if you don't have it, you should definitely add it to your watch list. Um, you should definitely add STPK to your watches. This stock is cheap. I am telling you, this stock is super cheap. And I'm going to continue to buy these dips as long as I see them. CCIB, I don't have nearly as much equity as the other ones, but I'm going to continue to start adding back in. So a little bit off once it was a little bit high, just blocking the profits, but I'm going to continue to start buying in um, once I get a chance. I mean, look at this, 30 bucks. All these other EV stocks that are potentially not going to even have the same potential as Churchill, like Neo and Xpan and all these other stocks are in the 50s and the 60s range. So I think this thing will climb back up. All you need is a couple of little catalysts here and there, and uh, I think we should be in good shape. Um, that's all I really had for today. Um, hope you guys enjoy the content. As usual, please hit me with that subscribe button. I love seeing new uh, subscribers come into the channel. And if you do subscribe, make sure to add uh, to click the notification button so you can see when I post videos. And last but not least, if you guys are interested in, in some of you guys that might be interested in getting into the market itself, i got a couple of links below so you can open an account either Weeble or Robinhood, get some free stocks if you deposit some money, and also Coinbase accounts in case you want to get into crypto, you can get some money by depositing uh, some money essentially. So 
Uh, hope you guys like the content, and I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow, and hopefully it'll be a, a better day. Hold on, let's take one last look right here. Yeah, this is brutal today. Uh, hopefully we'll, we'll we'll turn things around rather quickly, but you got to be patient here. If you sell, you lose. So um, that's all I really got for today. For us. So I'll see you folks uh, hopefully tomorrow. Take care.